Hey YouTubers, what's popping? What's popping? Don't mind my hair that has been trashy. You know, girl wigs been getting wear out. But anyways, anyways, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And for my old people, them who don't know the rules already. So this video will be about oh damn. And we're back. Louie and I are back. Okay. Anyways, so this video will be about answering questions that um my fans on Instagram asked me about Prism. I don't have a next phone, so what I did, I wrote off all the questions in my notebook so i'll be answering them truthfully because what about people always are saying we need prison um we need a prison video part two this that we want to know we want to know how you did feeling the things that you went through the first video that i did I didn't leave out much i never i never give you much info it was just based on me and my friend and things me and her went through in there etc but me never go on everything so hopefully these questions that i'll be answering will make you feel you know and so that you can know what is prison like and then it can also keep you away you know what i'm saying oh no no need to go to prison because that's not a better bit oh you got it not a better 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 not a better roses <laughs> anyway let, let's start off with the first question right brother move now man what wrong with you you see the video me make i'm not making it over you know anyways the first video the first question i swear i'm not make over this the first question is um did you see anyone you liked in prison no, I didn't see anyone I liked in prison, to be honest. Because I'm not gonna lie. Probably go over there the wrong time. Or I go over there when everybody mashed down or them just always look like that. Or pretty girls just don't go to prison. So I never did see anybody over there when I like. Alright? There's a fly here. The other question is do you regret going there no i don't regret going there why would i re regret um going to prison first thing first prison has taught me a lot a lot the experience it was good and the experience was bad also so i'm gonna regret anything i'm probably if i never got prison more than still i do certain stuff that i used to be doing back then so yeah i'm gonna regret going there <laughs> Probably some of them, I wonder why man is a calm in another video. Yes, this is a calm video. What color did you guys wear in prison? Okay, I didn't wear colors because I was a remandee. I was in sentence. I never get not never do not time. So it's the people that are are that are sentenced, they wear uniform. They wear red. Damn, I don't remember the other color, but they wear red, just red dress. But Ramondis, Ramondis don't wear uniform. We wear plain clothes like what I have on right now. Uh, our next person said, "When you go dark old, do you do you get things to eat?" All right, so dark old is a dark old is a um, punishment block. You have the prison. And you have dark hole that is done by the super office. So done by super office now, you have to come out of the prison, cross a little road to go over by um dark hole. So what they do is they take you from the compound and put you on a next compound where you can't see anybody. You can't see people, but they are only there are only prisoners who bring the food to you so you can't see anybody if you want to talk shop you have to write it on a paper and a prisoner will work like with a sanitation will clean up the place then we bring it to the talk shop and buy it for you because it's a it, it, it is a detention block you're not supposed to see your colleagues them you're not supposed to have contact with them 
you're not supposed to be on the compound doing going to the library or playing the games or enjoy yourself it's a punishment block so they put you somewhere by yourself so basically they have to give you things to eat because you're a prisoner same way and them can't make you starve down there no them have to get things to eat but it was so complicated because when you're on the compound louis come come what is wrong with you You want not bed and trim now. Let me see if nothing bites you. What kind of mad dog this man? Yeah, as I was saying that, um, when you're on the compound, they'll give you stuff to eat. But when you're going for lunch, you can always choose what you want. When you're on the compound, you can always choose what you want, right? But when you're at dark all, you can't. It's like you don't have no options. So, for example, it's not everybody eat mackerel. So, they will serve mackerel and they will serve bully beef. Not everybody eat mackerel, not everybody eat bully beef. And they will have a little cabbage on the side so that you have options. So, when you're at dark all, them just share out a three plate of uh, uh, um, uh, 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 bully beef give you. And I don't eat bully beef. So if my semen don't want it because I don't eat bully beef. Majority of the times, officers that are nice will call by the kitchen for them to change it. Some of the, the prisoners that are nice will take the chance and walk go up there for change it for you. But it's not a must. If they said no, them don't have to do it. So when you're the dark well, it's like you don't have no choice. You just have to just take what you get. But yeah, they, 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 they feed you. They have to feed you. Okay, um... The next question is, them not beat your moms? I've never got beat up over that prison, but I've been into physical fights before. But never get beat up. No. Um, what was the worst thing happened to you in prison? All right, so I have two things. What well, the worst thing happened to me in a prison? One of them is that. I remember one time I had a phone argument, right? And it's like them teeth my charger. So me ask everybody, where my charger there? Nobody no one tell me where my charger is. So I went by the security and me, um in the security. I went by the officers them and me tell them me say, Miss, you see any oh nobody don't give me my charger, no phone not charging ya. So the officers pull the grill and them come in and them dig up and them search. But nobody phone never um get take with the day. But they they went they went away with a lot of chargers and a lot of wires, etc. And then the whole entire dorm stopped talk to me. Everybody stopped talk to me. And it's it is so hard to be living in a small facility that you can't go away, you just stop there and Everybody that is there not talking to you. So that was one of my worst moments. And um me I try to use my hand for either look a dirty fly, you see man. Sure. And um the other worst thing is that um you have this girl where they dead here, she's a little snitcher. She always feel like she can't bully people because of she you know over put up wire. So I wanted a charger and she has she put somebody upon my charger. So I said to her, I say, You can't put nobody upon my charger. So she has said she put up the wire, they might as well take them off and me not getting a charge. So me and her did at it and nearly fight and when they look officers come and carry me and her got a dark hole. Just for your argue about her phone. The other question is, them ever try rape you in there? They've never tried rape me before and nobody in prison got raped. I don't know why I want to feel like once you got prison, people are going to fight you, people are going to rape you. No, it's nothing like that. It's just normal. Remember, you have officers there, so nobody not really can harm you or do you anything. Um, how dark will look? all right dark wall will look like one like a bathroom right so how they make dark hole now it's like you see me have my house and it's open up dark hole is open up like that but 
Yeah, yeah, alright. So for example, see, I have a house. I have a two bedroom. That's how dark will look. So you would have come in at the living room where you have a little tiny bathroom. And then the two rooms, them would have been two cells. But it's not two cells there. It, 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 it About six cells down there are five cells. So one of the room them would have been one of my cells. And they lock it. So they will lock that's for as me as an example like at the room door so then would have lock your room door which is the cell door and then they would have lock the main door for coming in your house which is the main door for going a dark hole you understand so them lock so so for example say i pick all the lock and come out and i still, still can't come out because the bigger door is locked to a grill and they don't give you freedom when you're there so like you get one hour outside and when you look you have to go back in your cell lock down you have to use your bucket etc so there's no freedom and then the roof i be something the inner the roof what i call it again um i don't remember they call it the the, the, the little white thing coal or something like that the little white thing where them say you're not supposed to inhale it i bear that in the ceiling the tile it nasty and all and look rug up on them something there it smells bad i can't breathe in there because it just it now get here because them, you know, like when they had jailos and then put some, some, some fence, some, some grill up them, grill up the place of breeze all the, all they come in. Yeah. And then sometimes you call officers, them no want to answer you when you call them because she had a punishing black is like, you know, have no right to prison. It just dirty, filthy, smell bad. And them have one little, um, dumb sewage like near dark hole so it make the place just think i have your in it that i would do have a fun i would do have a tv down there it's just the worst place to be um the other question is is it really depressing as people make it seems yes yes it's really depressing because managa you see um you have sometimes when i'm happy over there sometimes we play a game i will enjoy myself but right after finishing playing game what i look a nice conversation it's such a i'm gone back to breaking down feeling sorry me just want to go home I remember at the end of the day are your freedom that take away from you you know and nothing beats freedom you could, you could have enjoy yourself a thousand times in there remember you know you still not come out so that can make me feel good you know, it's very depressing. You cry every day. You want to go home. It just, every day it proves you say people fake and fake. It was just awful. Very depressing. How in the stay, as in the environment, them keep it clean? That's the next question. All right. We do keep, we do keep it clean, but it's not clean as we think it is. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for example, everybody have duties, Right? And it come down. So we'll have a lot of cells on your left hand side. And we'll have a lot of cells on your right hand side. And we will walk in the little passage. For go down at the bathroom. Or for exit. For go outside. Everybody has a duty. So like uh, say Monday now. But it's two persons do, um, do chores. The two hands them left and right. So for example now today is what? Today is Monday. Right? So what the mother do me, so for example say me have a friend named sam it would be me as some duty so is it that sam clean the bathroom and the toilet or me clean the shower so we can take turns so like this time me clean the shower the shower and she clean the bathroom next time me clean the bathroom she clean the so the shower so we always have duties and every single morning 5 a.m every morning everybody get up and them sweep out themselves them spread them bed them put back in them mat them spur up them jar them curtain and them clean and because me get adapt to it every morning it tends to me wake up and i clean the place so yeah we keep the place clean but at the same time it's not clean you understand because not everybody can clean so I sometimes then clean the bathroom and when you look dirt it just clean food for them but in a real life it's not clean did you have any roommates? That's the other question. Yes, I had a roommate. I had a roommate, um, I think three times. Three times I had a roommate. One of the times they would just move from my cell block, but they'd have to share um room with one of you remember the girls and with them said beat up Kaylan. I had to share um cells with one of those girls, um, the mother. 
and next time again there was this big fight in the dorm and this girl they wanted to put this girl on lockdown so they put her in my cell because i was already on lockdown so they just put me on lockdown because they can't put she with somebody else when they dip on lockdown that would have unfair you understand and then and next time the same girl that i was charged with named kayla we used to share cell too and then after that, me just start living by myself because it's either them go home or who get come out or etc. Or nobody now come to prison for me to share. The next question is, how was it like to be at the same place for this long? It was just, me, me did fed up. A lot of the time I think about giving up, me just want dead. You know what I mean? I mean, one of the times them, I got so used to it where it never used to bother me like me just start get fitting with everybody no, my one go home you know but waking up every morning being at the same place me just me just get used to it after work all me do i just get up and pray we play domino or whatever what me can do me can do about it so but just have to just try for stay focused and about i think for do nothing bad when i go help me you understand the next question is what do you think, what do you do when you feel horny? I fuck myself. That's what I do. I have sex with myself. And of time, I use my finger and dig out my little slippers and I have to go around and all the, 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 the doctor go get all the little cream and rub panic and my finger bust it up. And don't get me wrong, I used to have sex over there with Fiona, but that was when me and her talked. But before before me, me even talk to anybody, I normally, I normally sex myself, and that's the best feeling ever. What you mean? The other question is, what's one thing you'll never forget in prison? I'll never forget the way they treat me. Yeah? I'll never forget the way they treat me. That's what I'll never forget. Um, how does it feel the very first week you're in there? I didn't feel any way. Why I didn't feel any way? Because you see when people know you, when people know you, them start talk to you. So you just feel like you know them. Because so when I just went there, right, everybody know me. Like every single body know me and remember i know me no know them but because they know me them talk to me and them say girl i watched that video there a long time me i follow you i'm gonna love you and whatever so because they know me and them talk to me like them know me for in person for years it just made me feel like me know them for a long period of time too so i was just me just did easily 15 me did easily 15 but i wasn't liked them never liked me none tall. i don't know why um next question the prisoners became friendly after a while or it's the same from you been there all right most of them became friendly with me most but on the other side as i said everybody know me but 10 percent of them friendly with me and 10 percent of them ate me for what i don't know so it was just always um it was just always the same for me you understand me just as i said i don't feel no way i'm just fitting I'm that person for just always fitting. Me we go somewhere today and me see a bunch of girls. Like my friend suppose for example my friend invite me go somewhere and me see a bunch of girls, right? I don't know them. Me easily fitting, right? Because I just I look I think it's just a girly thing. I don't know if it's every girl easy for fitting, but you know one little conversation and you start talking and everybody become friends, you just feel like you know each other a long time. Me is a person who easily can fit in. I don't know about you. Next question. Did you like the idea of dating girls in prison? No, I didn't like the idea because let me tell you what. It might sound weird, but I like girls, but I don't like girls. You understand? All right, for example, I like girls in a sense where I'll sit and watch a girl dance for me naked. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't mind getting down on a girl because my freakiness is beyond. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind a girl getting down on me either. And But the thing is that, I don't know what to call it. I can dare so and flirt with one girl on the phone and tell her, say, yo, baby, you know, say, me, I go, damn, I go take you serious. 
just over the phone you know? i'm just over the phone talking and everything and then in real life now when you come to meet me me i said girl you think me a fish don't look at me them way there you crazy don't look at me those way and probably if you want to kiss me or something i'm gonna want to kiss you i'm gonna know where it call or what but me i never like the idea i talk to girl in a prison why because most of the officers them lose respect for me. Some of them will rate me and like me. And me is a girl who always a bun out lesbian. I don't mean bun them out like sick with lesbian girl or whatever. Me just always I say I'm not a lesbian and I will never be a lesbian. Me just always I say that. So when me turn lesbian in there and start talk to Fiona, a lot of um a lot of um waters them did feel a way about it and I said, I can't believe you better do something different but I can't believe you're going at the list and then not only because of what the waters are thinking me personally just never feel good in myself dating a girl in prison not not only say in prison but overall dating a girl I just not feel comfortable with it the other question is why did you go prison and how long you stay first of all that is none of your fucking business you're crazy. You can't ask me that. What you want me to do? Come tell us I'm a thief to phone or it's a ghost town. You don't you, you need to know why I got prison. How long did you stay? I spent nine months in custody. Nine months and a couple weeks. The other question is, did you speak to anybody or anybody you sit down with and talk? Of course. I have a lot of people that I sit down and talk to. Most officers do. Because you have... I be a young officer who work at prison. You, know? you have one and... Yeah, we have... One and two old people, but I be a local young officers that work over the prison. Some 24 years old, some 25. Some I always sit down and hold conversation with them. And I feel more comfortable talking to officers than the inmate them. Why? Because at the end of the day, inmate them, you can't trust them. An officer, you can't trust them neither. But the conversation you make with an officer is not about contraband or nothing like that. It's just normal life conversation and i can't even hold a normal life conversation with some of the inmate them because when the officer now go cuss me about it the inmate later on or two day them are class and them are question so i always sit down and talk with officers the other question is um how was the food the food is lovely like i don't know why i want to feel like say a bush them get the people them over prison on sundays you can either choose barbecue chicken fried chicken um stew peas them cook a lot of stuff where you can choose from fish and you have rice you have dumpling them cook porridge them cook um bully beef them cook mackerel them cook cabbage the big pudding they do a lot of stuff the food is very lovely but at one the only thing is that right the food is only lovely to me on Sundays because on Sundays they go all out and make sure you say the food nice and everything. But during the week, like when you're supposed to get mackerel and cabbage and bully beef, it is just too much. Every day they repeat the same thing. Every day we get mackerel, every day we get bully beef, every day we get cabbage. Sometimes I'll two days straight when I eat because I'm just tired of the same food over and over. When I feel I do a feed pan talk shop because we have a talk shop over there where they send your money on banking. And uh, whenever they send your money on the banking, it comes on your card. And you can order stuff from Tuck Shop and you get receipt from your card to see how much more money you have left on it and what and what you purchase. But you are not allowed to bring the card in your dorm. Uh, the other question is, how much meals do you get a day? We get three meals a day. We get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you know, you buy a little snacks that you eat for your supper or whatever. The other question is, um, did you get raped? I don't know if I answered that before, but no, I, I never got raped. And nobody in prison ever got raped either. The other question is, what do you guys eat in prison? I just answered that. Uh, did they treat you unfair? Very much. Very much so. And at one point, I feel like they were just doing it too much. The superintendent ate me bad. When I say eat my bad, the superintendent ate my bad. Him not like me, him ate me. Most of the officers, them, them ate me, all them do, them provoke me. Sometimes I um, do something, certain opportunity where other inmates, which is remandy, get, them now give me. So, me just, what it, stop. So, me just, um, them treat me very unfair in there, me not go tell no lie. True, them me kind of shit in a bucket. All right. 
let me explain this part now. The bucket thing is like the bucket you only defecate in your bucket and urinate in your bucket when get down your death. You only defecate and urinate in your bucket when they put you on lockdown. So for example, you fight or you give trouble. They um they put you on lockdown and when they put you on lockdown lockdown is when they lock you in a your cell eh lockdown is when they lock you in your cell so remember you know when you lock down in the morning you can always knock the, the the lock and call for officer and the officer come pull you and you go urinate or you go for your breakfast and you go back on the lock same thing with lunch time but in when, and the same thing for dinner time but after dinner when it's a lockdown time now when most start check you know say this is the last time officers are going to come in on the dorm and they're not going to come back until the morning so them ensure that you use the bathroom first you get some water for going there lock you have your bucket you have everything prepared so when them check muster about 5 p.m them now come back till in the morning so obviously i go want people during the night or in the early morning and do do so what you do when you enter the prison them get you give you them get your bucket and a cover so you do the near bucket you peep in your bucket and you cover it and it stay there until morning when morning come now you can push it under your bed cover it and put it under your bed when morning come now them let you out and you go throw it out in the toilet or you flush it or you wash out your, your bucket with bleach sanitize it and then you go back and they lock again uh the other question is when you got sentenced based on experience in prison would you go how do you hold on when you got sentenced when you got sentenced based on your experience in prison would you go pre-life different all right so the first thing is that i've never got sentenced before i was always a remandy sentence is when you go court and judge tell you say you go get you go do ear tears and when you go back over the prison you wear your uniform that is sentence i wasn't a sentence i was a remandy like when time i go court and the judge i reload out my file and them feel like them need more information them i go send me back over there and give me a next court date that's remandy so i wasn't sentenced but even though i was a remandy it made my pre-life different because now i know i'm enough a thief nothing again i'm not supposed to do certain stuff when we do so at this point even though i'm not going to tell them i'm giving trouble i'm giving a lot of trouble on social media i argue with the haters them i class them anybody feel like them want to come throw them wood palm me and now go suck it up me go argue back with them but i'm smart i'm not gonna thief anybody money me now go teeth no page me now go scam nobody me now do nothing like that so me in in that way me I keep myself out of trouble. Me can't get locked up for cuss somebody on social media. I think you can get locked up for threatening people, but I'm not threatening anybody. Me just class them. Me can't get locked up for that. So you know, me we still argue with them, even though that's not a good thing. But me we still argue with them, etc. But me na do nothing with a send me go to prison back again. You understand? Yeah. The other question is, how has prison changed you? As I was just saying a while ago. It changed me for just work for me one. Work for me one. Not take nobody things. Have patience. Um, it teach me also to not to trust anybody. Like from day one, my been always I said, I not trust people, but going to prison, I really not trust people. Because what it teach me is that when you when I'm in over the prison and people messed up and I give them chances. It's like me, I give them more chance to come mess up the real way again. So even when I come out like now, I don't trust people. I talk to them, but I keep my guards. You understand? And then worse with one well, little like mix-up thing with it, go on with vice note, etc. It's just make me start pretty different now women evil people. I have friends now. Like, I have a little friend named Gio. I'm Gio tell the truth. I don't trust you. Like, I keep my guards. Like, I love you and everything. But because I want to go through, I just... I just not trust people. And if me are close, close, I not trust you because I don't know what you are capable of. I don't know if you're up to a mission for one to reach a goal. So you're, 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 you're a pretender in my life until you reach that goal. So I tell myself, that's what I tell myself. Say, you know, say, a person will come around me because they want to reach a goal. And when they reach that goal, it's like a snap. But I'm not going to make them even get close to reach that goal for snap. You understand what I say? I don't trust nobody, period. 
But I'll talk to people and I'll associate with people the same way. Associate. All right. The other question is, my ear said the first night you go, you never sleep. Is that true? I slept. That's a lie. I slept, but I cried a lot. The first time I go, they when them give me my food and everything, I never eat my food. I give them my food the night. Um, I cry, I cry, I cry. But because of so many crying, it make my head start hurt, make my eyes swell, and I just knock out. And I wake up. I got about like 15 minutes sleep, and then I just wake up back. I don't know if you, I don't know if you probably can call it though sleep. But once like, yeah, you get about 15 minutes rest, that's sleeping. So yeah, I did sleep. Uh, the other question is, how did they treat the prisoners? All right. Some officers of their favoritism, them have them favorite, and some of them eat in meat. You have some officer with, I don't know how they are doing their job, but they don't like their job, or perhaps they like their job, but they don't like the inmates. Them because watch this now. I remember one time you have this officer, I would not call him the name because I can't get in trouble for that. I remember one time you have this officer, right. I went to her early morning after I finished washing my clothes and I said to her, Good morning, miss. Can I go and hang on some clothes? No, no, no. You know, so clothes they hang out early. So, you know, so clothes they hang out early. Don't provoke my spirit. I tell her, I forgot the damn shit. Because I my face to you know, and I walk off. When I walk off, not only for someone bigger person where we been there for every man in about around four to five years now, she depend on every man. Miss, let me, when I go hang on some clothes, I come in, Bob, she pull the grill. So, I was like, it is favoritism. So what I realize about Photo Augustus, you see people who are on remandies for a long period of time. Because you have people over there with the parent remanding for five years now. They might wait for appeal, they might wait for certain things to come true. Some people they pan three years remand. They treat them better than new inmates. When you're new, they want to keep you eat at them, feel that them can talk to you any or any way. They treat old prisoners better than the new prisoners them. And that's what I see um the other question is how was your first experience when you and a female in fronted about sex um you know <laughs> oh, let me read it back again you know i like the sound of it how was your first experience when you and a female in front of a bus. First thing, I was shy as hell. Right? Because Fiona was my best friend. Like, my best friend in prison. I had her back 100%. She had my back 100%. I miss her so much. But, um, I remember one day, all of it did upon lockdown. I don't know. We have a damn name, 1B. You see 1B? I want crosses. I never seen a salt like 1B so yet. So, one B student, them always a fight each other, or them always a try to pick fight with the sentence girl. Him. So, one day the super come lock down the wall away. When the superintendent lock down the wall away now, we have to get to hour. We get one hour outside. So, when they open up, when they open up everybody, yeah, we got one hour to go outside. I went into Fiona's cell, and then... I'm talking, I'm not just, it never just happened like that because we started a little relationship before it reached there. But, but as I get to the point of the sex, I went into her cell one day and we started. No, we went outside first. And when we went outside under the line, she did want to kiss me. I, mean, I never want to kiss her out there because I never want the officers or everybody to see me. I go kiss a girl out there because remember, everybody knows me as not a lesbian. So we, I tell her, I said, I'm shy, I can't do it out here. So she said, I could go in our cell. And I said, no problem. And I went into her cell and then I kissed her in there. And then it all started like that. I sucked till my tongue tired. Lord, Father, Jesus, help me. Hmm. Not even when me I suck bars and body, no, me, me tongue not apps at. I suck till the tongue stiff so. And can't move me. I feel all the tongue and work it myself so. Alright, see the vagina. Suck till the tongue stiff so. And me I feel use my tongue and help my tongue so. Tap me the daffy do. Blah, I'm glad me then of them um, lifestyle. Yeah, I get. Anyways, then there's something that take too much energy out of me. The other question is... Uh, do you cry sometimes and do other girls fight you? 
I cried a lot of times. I cry every day over the prison. Every single day I cry. I just always want to go home and then when I'm in my, my, my cell, we have, they have a little thing like this. It, what they call it? They call it, um, I don't know. You could call it the, 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 I don't remember what they call it. Sorry about that. My phone did that then. So they have a little thing where stay like this. Venti. We we'll call it the venti. So it stays like this. Your head can go through it and only your hand can go through it. And I always sit down and I look and I say, Father God, when you ever make me come home? May I go ever see my family? May I go ever see about the real world? Am I going to ever be out there again? Just give me a chance for sure you and change me. I'm just I'm cry every day. I'm going to talk to the Lord every single day. And yeah, girls try to fight me already. Ooh, you remember the girl when I tell her so we beat up Kaylan? One of them lick one iron in my head like say a coma she did one put me in. But the glory of God never make it happen. I tell her, oh, I jumped up back. I, I nearly kill her in there. And then the officers them did have to come part and they move out she and put her in a one next cell. And then the next time again, a friend of mine when named Kayla, we used to, we go, when me and her get charged together, we had a conflict and my, my sit down and my, my, my face was turned back with. So I was like this and the next friend was in front of me and we had talked about something and I eat and Kayla came up behind me and kicked out the food out of my hand and me and her start fight. So I, be, I went into two fights over the process, just two fights. The rest of them, the girl them just uh, as usual. Uh, the other question is, what advice would you give a younger person who don't care about ending up to prison? All right, so the first thing I'll tell a younger person who don't care about ending up in prison, this is what you need to try to do. Let one of your friends take away your phone. Let them take away the TV. Let them take away your boom box. You, sh you should have no internet. You should have no social media platform for go on. You don't need no internet. The only thing you, you don't need no TV. The only thing you do is need to be locked in your room for probably all a month and when somebody lock in there you can't do nothing then you will know how it feels and then give you one basin for shit and pissing her and take it out and throw it when you go right back in there then whenever when they give you that serious punishment probably you will know and feel it say you want to stay far away from prison prison is not a better road so when you go over by the prison people you can't get the type of food them where you want. You are dead for peace of Kentucky. You can't get Kentucky. The only thing, only time you go outside is when you have court. And God go with you if you ever get sentenced. You're not going to get for sea road. You can't go get for those certain things. They treat you like dog in there. How would you want to see yourself a shit in a bucket? How would you want to see yourself just stuck on one facility? You can't move. You can't see a man. You can't see a loved one. What else? In, stay far away from body, from people. Try your best not kill nobody. Try your best done teeth. If you're not on a phone, I bet you go and use a bang and about a teeth on a phone because you, you, you will spend a lot of time in there like how I did. If you use a hack on a body page, because trust me, one time I never did think say, you could be charged for cyberbullying with access to computer data or whatever they call it. Yes, it is real in Jamaica. You will, you will If you ask somebody Facebook or Instagram, you can get charged for it. Maximum five years. So just try your best. You're all grown persons. You know right from wrong. You know if you kill a man, you go to prison. You know if you thief on phone. When officer come lock you up, the persons, them can still press charge for you. You must know right from wrong. So my advice to you, always try to do the right things and leave the negative and the bad things behind. The other question is, what's the weirdest thing you ever think of doing while you're in prison? I have two weirdest things I ever think of doing while in prison. The first one, I think about hanging myself. I actually was going to hang myself one time. I remember I tore down the sheet and I tied it up and somebody got hang myself. And I'm a friend come and scream and everybody take me down. And we had to tell the officers that we were playing hide and seek. Because any of them find out say you try to kill yourself. They're going to put you up on suicide watch. They're going to lock you down in one cell to your cell. You're not going to have on a clothes. They're not going to get a sheet for sleep. And nothing at all we can use for hang yourself. The other thing I think about burning down the whole entire prison with me and everybody in it. Because at one time they get everybody me just realize that everybody is fake nobody is real and me just feel like me did lose hope and me not have nothing to live for and me just not, nobody not care about me and you know and then while i was in prison i was always seeing the negative things that people always are saying it always that get to me and 
some friends and family when I think they're going to do for me when I'm in prison, I never see them. So I just feel like so I never have no reason for you live. I just never... Um, Yes, so um, the next question. Oh, how did I get my hair done in prison? So, um, people, how did I get my hair done in prison? Well, um, you have people in prison that do my hair. People in prison do my hair. You have girls that um they know how to do hair, so they do my hair and then you have a salon where you go and you get your hair done. That's why I never wanted up there here because I'm telling you so whenever I do videos like this it just you know sorry for cry and me the eat as them see me cry but you know me just and the last question is did it teach you anything? It teach me a lot of things. A whole lot of things. It just teach me nothing. I get myself in a um certain trouble again. And yeah, basically that's it. So I'm going to end this now. Thank you guys for watching. And my love and a bye.